Hello, this is Thomas J. Linneman, author of Social Statistics, Managing Data, Conducting Analyses, Presenting Results. This is the SPSS demonstration for Chapter 15 on Nonlinear Regression. In this example, uh, we're going to look to see if education affects income in a nonlinear way. Now, we've looked at that relationship before, but now we're going to look at it using uh, ANES data. In order to do this, we need to have a squared variable, and so we need to have a squared version of our independent variable, which is education. I already have this variable in my data set, but let me show you how I created it. I'm going to transform compute variable, and I'm going to create a variable called Educ squared. There we go. And it's just going to be the square uh, of the variable, or in other words, that variable, the education variable, multiplied by itself. So xy educ squared is going to be equal to that variable multiplied by itself. And then all we do, so I, again, I already had that variable, so I'm not going to create it now because it would give me, SPSS would give me trouble. Uh, I'm going to go to regression, and I'm going to use the recorded income variable as my dependent variable. I'm going to put the non-squared version of the education variable in my model one. And then I'm going to click this next button. And I'm going to put the squared version of the variable in this, which is going to be my model two. That's all you need to do. We're going to keep things very simple for this example. Click OK. And here are the exact same results that you see in the textbook. And the good stuff is down here, where we see that the squared variable does have a significant effect. Does it do better than the non-squared version? Well, let's go up to the R squared to look at that. It does, not by very much, but by a little bit. And so now the next step is to actually get a picture of what's going on, because it's really hard to interpret these on their own and as a set. So as we've done before uh, at various times, we're going to switch over to Excel. So I have Excel open right here. And education is my independent variable, so I'm going to do that. And typically when I do education, I do education from 8 to 20 years. And then for income, I'm going to use these slopes right here. Now, even though this is not significant, remember we treat it as so because we need to interpret these as a set. Okay, so we start with a constant of 6.482. So it equals 6.482 minus 0.943 minus 0.943 times the education and now we're going to do the squared slope which is 0.38 we're going to add 0.38 we're going to multiply that by education and one more time, education, because remember, we need the square of it. So I'm going to click Enter, press Enter, and then we simply copy that down. And so we see that there is, well, we already knew there was a nonlinear effect, but this really lets us see what's going on. So 
between eight and nine years of education, income goes up by, it looks like it's about five and a half thousand dollars. 19 to 20 years, income goes up by um, 13, 14 thousand dollars. Of course, you want to draw a little graph of this. So I'm going to blow this Excel up. Bye bye, SPSL. It's still under there. And I'm going to grab these numbers and I'm going to insert a line graph. And I'm going to change these numbers, which are 1 to 13. We want the years of education there. So I'm going to, and you've seen this before if you've been following me throughout the book. So let's grab these and OK. And there we go. So, and you see, it's not a really huge curved line, but you do see there is a little bit of a curve. And you can see that. As education increases, the effect of education on income is uh, not only is it positive, but it's incre an increasingly positive slope. Okay, so that is how you run a very simple nonlinear regression model. And that is the end of this SPSS demonstration.